our skin We are young, we feel everything Yeah, it's starting to begin Hear the words we were meant to sing Close my eyes Hello friends and welcome to another video I hope you're having a great day whenever you are watching this um, And actually this video has been one that I've been so excited to make It's actually been very, very highly requested And obviously from the title of this video You know that this is my morning routine And what I want to say first and foremost is that what works ideally for every person a with their schedule and their lifestyle and b with what helps them mentally feel ready to take on the day um that will be different for everyone but for me it's taken a lot of trial and error seeing what works and what doesn't work um and this is what really works for me and um kind of like the importance of this morning routine for me is one it allows me to start my day feeling centered um it allows me to set myself up so that i feel empowered and like i can take on the day um and it honestly just having that routine helps me to be more productive so i'm going to kind of talk you through what i do so i do do this routine on the weekends as well but during all of my work days when i do typically wake up between 6 30 and 7 a.m i wash my face brush my teeth all of that kind of stuff if i plan on going to the gym shortly thereafter i'll just whip on my gym clothes today was a rest day so I kept on my pajamas. The first thing I do when I leave my room is fill up my water and I try to chug as much as I can of that, at least 16 ounces. It does really help just to flush out your systems, get everything moving. Then I do make my coffee. And then I like to go out on my porch, but sometimes I'll do it in my living room or something like that. And this is the bulk of my morning routine. This is what takes up the most time. And that is reading my 10 pages. So I pick a self-development book and I read at least 10 pages a day. I do 10 pages in the morning and then if I have time later on in the day, I'll read a bit more. And that really just helps me to be like, okay, what can I do today to be better? I also read my devotional. I understand that not everyone is religious and I am Christian, but a lot of things in there, I reframe God as like the universe. And that really just kind of helps me have a focus for the day. Feel the daylight on our skin. We are young, we feel everything. Yeah, it's starting to begin. Hear the words we were meant to sing Close my eyes, I feel And I think it is crazy when I read that how it always correlates to some aspect of my life and it's always something that I really need to hear and then I fill out my morning template. Every morning I write out three things that I am grateful for. I try to make these things different every single day. I write down three affirmations for myself. So these are things that yes are positive about myself but also are positive about my life. Then I write down three intentions for the day and those are just how I want to approach the day. I want to be present with everything that I do. I want to act from a place of gratitude. Those are just some examples and I do try to make these different every day. Something that really speaks to me. Um, the next thing that I do is called future pacing and that is writing out three goals that scare the shit out of me and they're usually longer term goals and then the power list goes along with that and that is what are those five things I can do today to bring myself closer to those goals oftentimes big goals can seem so intimidating and it can feel like we're not making any progress but what you realize is the little things that you do every day compound over time so I write out five things I can do today to bring myself closer and then I do go through and I reread them, my to-do list and all that kind of stuff I always do at night. 
so I'm ready to go in the morning, but I just use my morning to feel centered. But then I go and I get ready. If I already have my gym clothes on, I'll do my makeup and my hair, um, or not do my hair and just <laughs> throw on some makeup. And during that time, I always listen to a podcast. I don't listen to ones that are just like funny. I try to listen to self-development ones or, um, things that I'm trying to learn. So this morning I listened to Andy Priscilla's podcast, which is one of my all-time favorites. Words we were meant to sing, close my eyes. I feel where we are, where we are. We can run all night till it dawn, till it dawn. We light it up like the stars. No more fear of hiding Stay where we are We're the ones We can break the silence routine and then I go out get ready for the day I also do not touch my phone um, or social media until after I'm done with all of that stuff I don't like to start my day with that shit in my head um, and then I go out get ready for the day look at my to-do list get started on those tasks we'll do like little things like clearing out my inbox and my email and then I will make my breakfast Take my morning supplements. All the things that we can achieve. Are you starting to believe that tonight it was meant to be? Close my eyes. I feel where we are, where we are. We can run. And then I just kind of dive straight into work and I just feel really good and ready to so hopefully this video is helpful for you a bit of a short one definitely different than what I'm used to doing I'm all about making a positive change in your life not just your body and this is something that really has helped me in so many ways and I just started sharing it and it seems like it's helped a lot of people already so if you try this even just a small piece of it um, let me know and let me know if it helps you but I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always comment share like subscribe let me know if you have any questions let me know what you want to see and I'll see you guys in the next one